Hi! Welcome to Far Cry 4. We're doing advanced chemistry. It's up on a sort of hilltop around some paddy fields with a pretty stunning view, so I thought I'd take a moment just to look around and enjoy it. There's a little island. Hello, little island. I think that might be the Rhino Island. Quite how rhinos survive on a bit of land so small is beyond me. But <laughs> there we are. There's also this sign, although since then I've seen this sign in a few other places. But presumably if you drive up that way, uh, you'll see it. I ran up the side. Anyway, enough looking around. Take some time to look around if you are... I always look around on the top of radio towers, but... Hmm, it's sort of auto fogs there. So this is the most beautiful place that I've found so far. Anyway, enough of that. On with the mission. Amita. Are you okay? Do you think this is easy? Being the first woman in the golden bath? The one pushing for change while everybody else talks behind your back about how you're destroying their heritage? I am every bit the fighter, the kirati that they are, but they... They just see a woman. You're a smart man, Ajay, tell me. Am I the right person for this? Sabal, he's got all these supporters and I just, I just keep thinking, are they blind? Or am I just... missing the point? No, indecision is for the weak. Remember that tea plantation? The poppies, they've been shipped to an old brick factory for processing. Sabal wants to destroy it, he's so sure of himself. And you want to capture it? Exactly. That's everything we need to plan for the future while he's stuck in the past. I say yes, he says no. But I'm hoping you will be the one to do the right thing. So, sob story from Amita. She wants us to go and intercept where the poppies have been delivered and take over the brick factory to control the heroin production. Uh, here's what they both have to say. I'll do it. I was hoping you'd say that. I need you to take Noor's brick factory without destroying it. And I bet she cried on your shoulder. Did she give you that sob story about being the first woman in the Golden Path? So, unsurprisingly, Amita wants us to destroy it. Sabal is saying that she's a vixen and using her wiles against us. Whatever, Sabal. I just like blowing stuff up. Actually, if I like blowing stuff up, I would have taken your mission. Um, <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd take the wingsuit there because it was right next to a hang glider. And in retrospect, I probably should have taken the hang glider because the wingsuit drops off height a little more quickly and so I land on Rhino Island which isn't much use, but it's a pretty stunning roll-in. So, do you know what? I don't really mind. And then, parachute deployed, land in the water. Yay! Anyway, I'll cut the next 900 meters or whatever, what is it, 400 meters that I had to get to. I'll show you Are you Havildar? Is that what you'd call, Sergeant? Yes. The factory uses generators to make the air breathable. Destroy them, and you force the soldiers out. Whatever you do, keep damage to a minimum. One more thing. The chief chemist who runs the facility, he used to be one of us. Amita wants him. Alright then. So, we've got to kill the chemist. Uh, and take out the generators. I completely missed the need to take out the generators initially, despite the fact it says up there on the top left. Quite obviously. I was thinking, oh, I've got to kill the guards. Uh, I'll kill all the guards and then I'll deal with whatever checkpoint has popped up. But as you'll see a bit later, until you take the generators out, the guards spawn endlessly. So actually, if you just want to farm experience here, it's not a bad place to do it. Um, Never-ending supply of guards and trucks is not a bad thing at all, right? I thought I'd go a bit differently, use the camera to spy people, see if I could pick everyone up. And then I used a hunting syringe anyway, because I was like, well, what if I miss one guy who's just right there and is going to eat my face? I don't think I missed too many. Um, also, I have a feeling, but I could be wrong, that guards will be more likely to be asleep at night. 
Certainly thinking about it on the day missions that I've done, I've never really seen them sleeping. Three alarms, there's the first. Uh, it doesn't really matter, because they call for reinforcements anyway. Obviously the stealth approach goes completely wrong, as you'd expect. <laughs> Uh, anyway, two dudes in a truck. I uh, nearly got spotted by someone there. I think it's a sniper. I forget, yeah. That guy up there. Um, but I get some more cover here. And then, yeah, see this guy here is fast asleep. But mucking around in the vegetation is fine. But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anyone asleep. Apart from in caves, like on beds. I think as part of a scripted event, like hostage rescues I've had. But just wandering around outposts, they're more likely to be asleep at night. But anyway, I digress. I wanted to take out this guy here by the alarm on the right, even though I'm looking left. You'll see me nose around the corner in a second. I'm just waiting for the truck to go past there. But it seems like I can't get there for long enough to get a bead on him without him seeing me. See? Every time I go around. But then he moves, and I miss amazingly. What a good job. But somehow he still doesn't see me. However, on the upside, he does come around here. I should have lined up for a takedown, that would have been a much smarter move, but he runs around the corner and I headshot him before he's seen what's going on anyway. I'm really sorry if you can hear that buzzsaw in the background, by the way. Nope, oh, they just paused and listened back, and apparently you can't. So, uh, wow, it's loud though. <laughs> but I digress, I got that guy in the end. And I don't think he saw me. Here comes the truck dudes. And there's a guy there. Quite how he didn't see me, I don't know. Uh, well, actually, he did in the end, right? And now all hell is over, and I get a few surprisingly good for me headshots in in a row here. Three. I should have just got on that elephant and caused all kinds of carnage. That would have totally been the right way to approach it. And it looked like a golden path guy was coming in there. Four. I think this one maybe misses. Yeah, pulled it too early. Oh well. Five and one miss. And there's a few more guys running around here, but as you'll see, they just don't stop coming. It doesn't help that the alarm's gone off, but still. There's the second alarm. I know it's pointless, but I always take down alarms, even after the alarm's gone off, just in case they call additional reinforcements. Oh, the shredder is too good. But so's the Bushman. <laughs> I mean, both are excellent, right? Looting, looting, looting during combat. Uh, C4 ain't gonna help no one, buddy. If anything, I should be taking a mine. Another headshot. I'm. I don't. You know, I don't want to sound like a tool, because I kind of hate people who are like. Yeah, I'm awesome. I got a headshot. And plus, I'm not awesome. Like I'm fully aware that I'm not. But I think I did quite well here. I'm a little bit proud of myself. Didn't die. Thumbs up. Got a few headshots. Thumbs up. Had fun with the grenade launcher. Thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, that reminds me of that episode of Friends. I'm off on one today, aren't I? That episode of Friends where <laughs> Rachel makes shepherd's pie, but she's got the pages stuck together. Um, and ends up making like shepherd's pie slash trifle. And I don't know what happened there. <laughs> and uh, Joey ends up eating it and loves it. And I'm like, you like that? It tasted like feet. And Joey's like, what's not to love? Jam? Good. Uh, custard? Good. Meat? Good. <laughs> oh. But yeah, as you can see, they just keep coming. So eventually I realised it was probably a good idea to start taking down the generators. He should have ridden that heifer lump. I actually do at the end. Um, yeah. And this is quite a long video, although you're probably aware of that if you're already watching. Yee, 30 XP! And then obviously the looting. Let the looting commence. Did I miss him? Yes, I did. I don't, I mean, I guess the grenade sometimes bounces off stuff. It's kind of hard to tell. But quite often I'll shoot it and won't see an explosion. I kind of figured it's just fallen through the geometry somehow. Uh, 
uh, truck incoming on the left, maybe? I sped this last bit up because... No, yeah, there we go. Headshot. I don't know how I got headshots there. There is, finally, the first generator. <laughs> he got to it eventually. Grenade launcher. Overpowered. Playing chicken with a car. Uh, accidentally got in the gun turret there. Oh, excuse me. Accidentally got in the gun turret there trying to loot the body. But that was not the end of the world. There is the second generator, thankfully. A meter or, I don't know, one of them has put massive checkpoints on there. Double grenade for the big bada boom. Big bada boom. And then a flying takedown to finish up. Except I haven't finished up because there's still a truck doing its little thing. So I got the third generator. There we go. That's it. The fumes should drive them out. Get inside and kill the chemist. It was convenient. Them just popping out of that door at exactly the right time. Now, what's going on in my head here, I don't know. I'll be honest. I think I was going to put down a mine to get the last car coming around, and then I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to take it out with the elephant. When I could have just run inside, it would have been fine. But anyway, elephant kill. Stampede. And then it's time to get off Mr. The Elephant. Bye bye, Mr. The Elephant. So there are some heroin fumes in here. Presumably it's heroin, given that it's a poppy processing plant, and you hallucinate quite aggressively. Which, I don't want to be a, you know, stickler for details, but I understand uh, heroin isn't so much of the hallucinogenics. Turn the volume up a little bit here, just because the music's kind of fun. I suspect it'll be copyrighted and someone else will run ads on this video, but you know what? Worth it. Pew. I do like the way the they explode, and I wanted to see what a grenade... I don't know what I was doing here, I'm sorry. I wanted to see what a grenade explosion would look like, but every time I throw it, I promptly get out of the way. I'm full smart. And then they're hiding in this little hole. And somehow miss again, although I, that looks like a cop. Then I'm trying to shoot the elephant. And there was a thing you could kick down there. I didn't notice it when I was actually playing through, but now I want to go back and investigate, obviously. And I think I saw something flashing when I was going there on the left. No, I saw something flashing when I was watching this playback earlier, which I promptly ignored as well. Maybe some body armor or something. Two more little men. Kill. This one less successful. And I love the way it's swaying. <laughs> yeah, I think that's some body armor on the table dead ahead. Or a med pack, maybe. There's a med pack. I think I'm probably full. I'm honestly not sure of anything at this point. Anyway, off to the chemist. I will butt out while he talks. This is careful. Diddy is 
a generalized prediction based on testing and acceptance and hypothesis is a guess that has yet to be tested. I might go to the arena to see if the masked man is by How? But no, it happens time and time again. People confuse the two. I blame the players conspiracy theory. It should be conspiracy hypothesis. What the fuck is happening? The energy released upon death is both infinite and infinitism. I might go to the arena to see if the last man is fighting. the gas. We live in the age of conjectures, just repeating mistakes as fast until the masses dumb it down into their version of the truth. I might go to the arena to see if the mass ran. Alive, damn it! You said... You, you said to kill him! It's time to destroy the facility. It's time to light Budra's ascension to the gods with a giant blaze. You're not making any sense. We're laying the explosive now. Get out while you can! Oh, hi! Uh, um... I, don't, I honestly couldn't tell you what happened in there. I don't know if the chemist is dead or not. Presumably he is, given the number of times I killed him. Um, and we can only assume that Amita's voice was an hallucination. I didn't know about Badra ascending to become a god, though. I mean, it's probably been pointed out before and I just missed the reference, but that was interesting. Anyway, on the way out, it's very, very dark. The colours are cycling like on the Yogi mission, and I suppose like on the way in. Uh, and your weapon randomly changes between an LMG and a flamethrower and possibly a grenade launcher, I think it, I get at one point, and it's also very, very dark. But I thought I would leave the darkness as is to show you how dark it would be rather than try to tweak it. Oh. Excuse me for yawning on you. Rather than trying to tweak it and uh, up the colour balance just to give you an idea of why I'm getting so lost. I figured if I made it super bright and then kept running into walls, it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> but yeah, two coffees down and still yawning. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I thought that guy was maybe guarding a way out. He was not. And I really want to go back and see what's behind that... Um, behind those planks now that I noticed on the replay in that room where the two dudes ran in and I chucked some grenades in. Anyway, we're out now. So magically, as soon as you clear the air, the hallucinations stop. It would have been really fun if they'd carried on for like another five or ten minutes outside. But uh, I think Amita is about to call, so I'll leave you with her and see you on the other side. Amita? Ajay, what's wrong? Is the factory secured? Is the chemist dead? Yeah. Yeah, I just, uh... I think I was hallucinating. That's the fumes. But you're okay now. I can't tell you what this means. Thanks to you, Kirat has a future. If Sabal wasn't so busy looking backwards, he'd see that too. What, so, Amita is upset at Sabal. Again. Uh, not much we're going to be able to do about that, I fear. Anyway, on the left is a Longinus mission, a short hunt. It's an optional mission, but it unlocks quicker reload, so strongly recommend you get that. On the right is the next part of the story mission. It's called Shoot the Messenger, and it involves dealing with Nor. Um, we'll see what happens there. But anyway, I'll see you in the next mission. Bye!